Far Cry Primal, Far Cry 4, which one is better? That's what we're here to find out today, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna compare both games in their stories, gameplay, and worlds to determine which game is better and which game you should buy. Also, before we get the video started, only 4% of you who watch my videos are actually subscribed. So if you enjoy the content, consider subscribing. It's free and you can always change your mind later. Oh, and if you don't, I'll kill you. Back to the video. Far Cry is a pretty good series overall. I don't really think any of the games in the series are bad. Sure, some aren't as good as others, but Far Cry as a whole is a pretty strong series, and it doesn't have obvious bad games like other Ubisoft franchises. And I just want to make it clear that I did enjoy both of these games and appreciated them in their respective ways. Far Cry 4 takes place in 2014, and Far Cry Primal takes place in, you know, 10,000 BC. So the setting and atmosphere and the weapon selection is much different, or at least it sort of is since you can still use the bow and all that in Far Cry 4 as well, while in Primal you can only use the bow, clubs, and spears. Far Cry 4 is a first-person shooter, and it's what the Far Cry series is known for. There's a lot of different weapon types and variety to your selection that allows you to play different play styles in the game. If you want to snipe enemies from hundreds of meters away, you can do that. If you want to do close quarters with a shotgun, you can do that too. There's also some more, shall I say, flavorful weapons that makes the combat a lot more fun. Unfortunately, Primal doesn't have this large weapon variety. I mean, obviously. Some people may just prefer the prehistoric combat with no guns, and I'm personally one of those people, but the combat in Primal is just way too basic. The melee combat has no depth or skill to it, and the bow is point and shoot, and that's it. No cool variants or combat mechanics, and it makes the combat feel very repetitive and at times boring. In Primal, I'd be doing this. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Far Cry, I'd be doing this. <laughs> stealth is pretty much in the same boat as the combat. Both games have quite basic stealth mechanics, with the difference being in Far Cry 4, you have more options for approach thanks to the large weapon selection, while your only real options in Primal is to take down, use a bow, or use a tame. And only some of the tames actually help in stealth, while the others just act like complete idiots and get you spotted. Like WHAT ARE YOU DOING?! Primal does have some cool tools to use like berserk shards and blades and even a beehive you can throw, but Far Cry 4 still wins out in stealth. Both games have pretty gorgeous and lively open worlds, and both locations are a lot of fun and unique to explore. In Far Cry Primal, we have the prehistoric Central Europe, and in Far Cry 4, we have the beautiful Himalayan mountains. Both worlds feel immersive and have lots of dangerous wild animals hunting you down so they can eat you just so you can respawn and get eaten again, except in Primal, the animals are a bit scarier, and they feature now extinct animals like the mammoth and saber tooth, which was pretty cool to see in the game, and what's even better is you can tame them and actually ride them. Woo! Take these bad guys down. Oh, oh god. Wait, let's th let's talk about Both games also have a fair amount of side activities to do, even if they are just the same few side missions copied and pasted 30 times. However, Ubisoft messed up, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of the locations in Far Cry Primal are just reskinned locations of Far Cry 4. Yes, they were that lazy and cheap. I also found Far Cry 4's map more full of enemies to fight, more quick time events, and outposts. There are just some times in Far Cry Primal where you're just running from point A to point B and absolutely nothing happens, and the fast travel is the most frustrating fast travel system of all time. You have to fast travel, but wait, you don't have enough stamina, so you have to fast travel to a closer camp. Then you have to sleep to refill your stamina, then you don't have enough food to fast travel, so you have to hunt, then you fast travel, and then you need to sleep again and get more food because you used up all that from fast traveling. And I said this in my Far Cry Primal review, but of the Far Cry games I've played so far, Primal had my least favorite story, and Far Cry 4 blows it out of the water. Far Cry Primal's villains are boring and have no backstory or reason to kill them, other than they're bad guys. Meanwhile, in Far Cry 4, we have this scary blonde guy in a pink suit who says, I loved your mother and hated your father, and you're like, what? And then he stabs a guy with a fork and makes you wish you only had to deal with idiotic caveman, an insane woman who worships the sun. Pig and Min has charisma and an engaging personality, while Ul and Bakatari have, well, uh, um, it's 
to, to be honest, I can't even remember because they're just that forgettable. Now, both protagonists from these games suck. No likable qualities or personalities, but at least Ajay from Far Cry 4 has a deep emotional story trying to scatter his mother's ashes, and his story deeply intertwines with the diabolical pagan Min. Meanwhile, Takar, well, um, cavemen make bad people go bye-bye. <laughs> The pacing of Primal also was terrible because of its mission structure. There's no feeling of large progression or character development, and you can just skip out on key moments and characters if you choose to. Meanwhile, Far Cry 4 builds to this huge ultimate battle, and it presents you with tough choices, and by the ending I was like, wow, what a game. Yet when I finished Primal I was like, huh? That, that, that's it? Now, I know a lot of you cool kids care a lot about graphics, and even though Primal is a newer game than Far Cry 4, the game's graphics practically look identical. You could even make the argument that Far Cry 4 looks better. And you just can't beat the gorgeous views of the Himalayan mountains. Performance-wise, again, pretty much the same. I would average around 110 FPS on Far Cry 4 and about 90 on Primal, so that may be important to you if you have a lower-end PC, but if you have a good PC, then both games won't be a problem to run well, and both are pretty good in terms of bugs and clunkiness. So which game is better and is more worth buying? For me, personally, the answer is Far Cry 4. It has a much stronger and more engaging plot, the villains and characters have more layers and development, the combat allows for more creativity and fun weapons, and the world is just stunning. Primal is still a fun game and worth trying out if you haven't already. You can check out my Primal review for that, but if you're deciding between these two, then Far Cry 4 is the better option. It also has a lot more content and has a much longer story than Primal. They're also the same price, so there's no real reason you should be getting Primal over 4 if you haven't played 4 already. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, I would appreciate it if you left a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. I also have a Discord server you could join, the link is in the description. And other than that, thank you for watching and have a great day, Assassins. <laughs> oh wait, the video's not- oh, my bad.